Today we're going to talk about finding the area of a circle. And I have here some circles and those circles divided. We can see that they're equivalent. And we've got some rectangles here as well. So let's take a look at this green circle first. Let's suppose I wanted to find the area of this green circle. Now, what have we done in the past to find the area? We've converted our shape into a rectangle. Well, I have a rectangle here. Let's see, let's see if we could take this divided triangle and uh, turn it into a rectangle. I'm getting these pieces as close to the base of this rectangle as possible. They turn up a little. All right, so I've been able to pretty much create the base of this rectangle. And the base of this rectangle is the circumference, pretty close to the circumference. And let's see, the height of this rectangle is a radius, but I haven't filled in the whole rectangle, have I? Let's see. Now I've filled in the whole rectangle. So let's see what we can discover here. The area of this circle is going to equal the circumference, which is the base of this rectangle, times the radius, which is the height of our rectangle. But this rectangle is made up of two circles. So we have to divide that all by two if we're finding the area of only one circle. So the area of this circle equals the circumference times the radius divided by two. Now, I wonder what do we do if we don't actually know the circumference? Well, let's put the formula for circumference in instead of circumference. So we know to find the circumference, we do 2 times pi times the radius. And then we have this other radius here, and we're dividing by 2. I think we can simplify this equation a little bit. So the area of a circle equals, let's see, these cancel each other out, and r times r is r squared. So the area of a circle equals pi times the radius squared. Now, there's something else I want to show you here. Let's just work with this one. Watch.
Let's take a look at what we have here. For the base of this rectangle, we have half the circumference, the circumference divided by two, and the height is the radius. So again, we can do two pi r divided by two times the radius, and that will give us pi r squared. Something interesting to look at with this rectangle. Let me show you what we can see here. I can see that here's a radius and here's a radius. So we have the radius squared represented right here. And here we have three and a little bit more. This representation is pi. So we can see the area formula for a circle just right here in this rectangle. I hope you'll go find the area of all sorts of circles now. <laughs>